So there's one particular parody out there that seems to stick out to me more than others just because of how I find it very interesting that everyone seems to either know one or the other but never seems to know both regardless of who you ask. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Many, many, many of you who see this have probably heard the song Right Round uh, by Flo Rida featuring Kesha. But those who know that song for some reason don't know of the song that came about 20 years before it called You Spin Me Round. That song was actually by a completely different band or it was performed by a different band, but it was written by the same person. That's why I find this particular um, circumstance very interesting. And they sound very similar too, but they're not the same thing. The, I guess in a sense they're basically the same song, but one, they just match the different um, eras of music a bit better than the other. I mean, for heaven's sake, one was written in the 80s, one was written in the early 2000s. What do you expect? I mean, again, spin round. You spin my head right round right. You spin me round right round is the lyric to that. You spin me round right round is the lyric to that one, I believe. I might be getting the two mixed up. Hold on. So, the one that I listen to is called You Spin Me Round. You spin me round right round like a record, baby. Right round round round. That's the lyric to that one, but... The one apparently everyone knows nowadays, nowadays again by Flo Rida, goes a bit different. Instead of that, it's you spin my head right round right round when you go down when you go down down. That's Flow Rider's version, but the opposing version, the one that I was just talking about before that, uh, the 80s version, is you spin my head right round, right round, like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Now, the songs are very similar in senses, but technically speaking, the right round by Flo Rida is considered a parody because it's not the original one that was written, and it does have slightly different lyrics. But I do still find it very intriguing to think about. Does it cross any legal lines? No. That's kind of where I find it intriguing, because the person who wrote the song didn't have to look for legal reasons. Not because he was Weird Al Yankovic, or not... Not because... Um, it had already been done, or it was kind of a legal problem. It, it was something... You had to worry about it in the first place. It's because it was by the same guy who wrote the previous version. The writer is the same, just the performer is different. I mean, as I said before, we're talking about Dead or Alive versus Flo Rida. Those are the two artists' differences. Now, that's not the only that's kind of one of the bigger reasons why I find this particular these particular compared songs interesting. And the, the one they're one's a parody of the other and yeah, no copyright issues at all. But the other reason I feel like is just that and I said this before as well, you bring up the title of one of the songs to anybody and one will be sung by them, and you say, oh, I'm not talking about that one, and they'd be thinking, there is no other one, when there is. 
thing I find interesting is the fact that there are two songs. Different, yet the same. And apparently, no matter where you look, there only it, it, it's there only seems to be each individual person only seems to know of one of the two. I'm one of very few people who seen who knows of both. I listen to Dead or Alive more than I do Flo Rida by a long shot, but I do listen to Flo Rida's version of that song. But nonetheless, I don't I don't know. I find it very intriguing. Parodies intrigue me overall. Like that one intrigues me a lot more than other ones. But when it comes to parodies in, as a whole, I guess another one that intrigues me, since I'm already going off a tangent on this anyway, um, the parodies that Weird Al Yankovic writes. What I find interesting about those is that he does his own style, yes, and some of the songs he's written are in the style of other people's music, but so many people have the same type of so many bands have the same type of style that that's not really a big deal but what i do find interesting about weird al um is that i don't remember when or how this happened but the permissions that most people need to get for copyright he doesn't need to and yet he goes and does it anyway which is a very humble thing to do. But I do find it very interesting that Weird Al is like the one person who doesn't require this. Maybe it's because before copyright for music was a large issue, like he started before that was the case, or maybe it's because of some other aspect that I'm unaware of. But all I know for a fact is that I find it interesting that he's like the one person in the world who makes parody songs that doesn't need to get the permissions, and yet he gets them anyway for every single song he's ever written that's a parody. And... I mean, I like Weird Al, yes. I like parodies as a whole, if I'm being honest, but I, I just think Weird Al, he... He goes about it in a way where it's very humbling, and he doesn't really have to. Which is something I applaud, and one another reason for me to actually enjoy the stuff he makes. I find some of the stuff he makes funny anyway, so even if I, he didn't do that, I'd still enjoy the content. Either way around, though, these are the two... Th these are the kinds of parodies that I do find interesting. In some kind of way or another. How about you guys? Do you guys find any particular type of music interesting? If so, why? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to check out any other uh, discussion around videos like this one or about me videos, uh, click the links on the side of my head, or if you want to check out any other content that I've done, skits, uh, challenge, streams, or uh, which are scars on the streams, or gaming videos, which I do Stuff like this and the gaming videos daily. Check out the channel itself. But in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again one more time for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.